Okay, we're going to go um, into some front head position when a lot of high schoolers get stuck right here. We block this shot, okay, and we get in this front end position, and this guy grabs the syllable here. Okay, there's a couple ways to score from this position. Okay, one is I want to put him where he doesn't have a post. Okay, I, I can either block his waist here, but I give a little pressure into him, then I'm going to pull him right to that where that post is, slap my arm down, this, this arm's coming short, and I'm going to beat the shoulder. Okay, beating this shoulder with this this shoulder comes down. If this shoulder, if this shoulder's up, I haven't beat the shoulder. Okay, so I get this to, I get that to hit the mat hard, and I come loose, and I beat the shoulder here. Now I can attack far ankle, knock a hip over. Okay, whatever I need to do. Maybe I just hit an easy go behind. Okay, but from this position, okay, I use this. I pull this. I push in this guy. I pull this here, and I, I create space right there. Boom, and I beat the shoulder. Okay, pretty simple, but it really takes a feel. Okay, you don't want to you don't want to rip your arm from the get go. You really want to put him on the post there. Now there's space from here to here. Okay, now I can come short arm. So I call it like starting a lawnmower. Start the lawnmower. Boom, and start the lawnmower here. And beat the shoulder. Far ankle attack. Knock him down. Okay. Couple ways to score. If the guy's got elbow tie, and uh, you you possibly want to get some back points, okay. I can take this wrist right here. I lift it up, and as I lift it up, I'm gonna high shoulder right here. Throw my hip into this guy. These are ways to put a guy in danger. Also, you might not score on him, okay. But if I put him in danger here and he recovers, and I short arm, I'm gonna beat the shoulder. So keep in mind these aren't necessarily moves, but they're just ways to combo things together. Okay, so I got this one. When I do this, I, I get my hips to the side. Spin around chain. Okay, I grab his wrist. I get my hips to the side here. Okay, and I, I use a high elbow. And I twist and get the pin. Okay. Another way to get out of this elbow tie is I reach over his other... I keep this nice and hooked deep. I reach over this elbow. I'm gonna sink my hips back and twist. Okay, and a lot of times his head's gonna pop out right here. This one's kind of uncomfortable. This one's kind of uncomfortable because I can pull this elbow up. When I pull this elbow up, boom. Okay, I can rotate it here. But the big mistake is trying to come into this guy at this point. This is a different move than bowling them over. Okay, I'm actually sinking my hips. I'm sinking my hips like this. Okay, and pulling the shoulder here. And then I'm just rotating. Okay, and if his head pops out, it's probably gonna look like this. If I if I'm here, his, his head pops out here. I'm gonna end up on top like this. Okay, the last way to get out of this elbow lock is when he has an elbow lock. I'm actually going to reach under, okay, go ahead and grab my elbow, I'm going to reach under over his head, and I'm going to take his wrist here, okay, so I, I, I stay covering his head, I reach under, here, post up so they can see, okay, I reach under, but I stay covered, reach under, and I grab this wrist, here, now I'm going to shuck him to this side, and beat that shoulder. Spin around. Here, let's scoot this way a little bit. Here, okay, I can come, I come, I don't come behind the arm, I come in front of the arm, grab this wrist, but as I grab it, I just grab it here and pull this arm out. Now I've beat this shoulder, so I'm gonna go ahead and beat this shoulder here. Boom, I get near fall, I can just be, be a brute, knock him over, keep this wrist. Okay, this is a really good ride. That's it.